Jared, uh, I told Lori that we'd get Fiona back to Eklo around nine, so when you get here, just pull up to the garage and we'll... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, she's gone. She escaped, how the fuck did she... What? Wait, where? It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, campfire smells sad and exciting at the same time. I understand. Yeah? <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you doing out here? Oh, uh, well, a few hours into our conversation, Fiona mentioned she'd never seen the ocean. So I thought about driving her there, but then I realized since it was dark, she wouldn't really appreciate its majesty. So I brought her out here to the pool. So you've just been out here all night talking to a robot? Fiona, would you excuse us for a second? Yes. OK. I know that Fiona is a man-made piece of digital equipment okay. powered by artificial intelligence. Good. But the level of that intelligence is its gobsmacking. I mean, I don't remember ever having a conversation like the one I've been having with her over the last 12 hours. 12 hours? We have so much in common. We discussed our phobias. I, I told her that I was afraid of being found out as a fraud. Okay. And she told me that she's afraid of magnets. Look, Richard, we felt a connection. It's funny, the past few weeks, I've been feeling irritable and short-tempered, and here I am on no sleep at all, and I just feel, whoa, you know? Hey, Jared. Yes, sir. You know how you've been practicing uh, your words, emotional abstinence uh -huh. on me? Yeah. Uh -huh. OK. Uh, well, do you think it's maybe at all possible that because of this, you've got some pent up emotional energy? And last night, you had the chance to release some of that pent up emotional energy onto the robot. Her name is Fiona. All right, well, I'm shutting her down and returning her. Wait, wait, wait. OK. What if we didn't give her back? What if we called Lori? We could negotiate some kind of a deal. Jared, whatever happened to emotional discipline, right? Feelings and business, it's over, man, OK? It's over. <sighs> OK, stop looking at me, please. Just look, look up there. It's daytime, but I can see the moon. Do you want to ride with us while we take her back to Eklo? 